Thank you for visiting Litson RV and for the opportunity to showcase for you the Winnebago View and Navion 24J, a fuel efficient Class C Highline Touring Coach equipped atop the Mercedes-Benz third generation VS30 chassis available in this, the Stellar Deluxe Premium Paint Package, which includes the upper one third being painted in that silver pewter finish along with the lower belt line being in that silver and pewter finish in which we stock a majority of our 24Js that we help guests with. We also stock the 24J available in the Bay Mist full body base coat, clear coat, premium automotive paint package, which is actually painted top to bottom with flowing lines of pewter silver and black trim. We also stock the 24J in the View and Navion in the mineral full body base coat, clear coat, automotive finish featuring varying shades of beige and tan and pewter throughout. Again, painted top to bottom. Although again, a majority of the coaches that we help guests with are in the Stellar Premium Deluxe Paint Package in terms of valuing cost versus benefit. It is an approximate $8,100 retail uptick for that Bay Mist or Mineral full body base coat, clear coat automotive finish. This view in Navion features the latest in mid-year running line change improvements made during the mid part of the 2021 model year that we'll showcase as we walk around this 24J and then cover each of the main living areas inside. The Winnebago view and Navion are identical all the way down to features, quality, content, price, and colors. We being one of the few full line dealerships here in North America, we can provide you that unbiased opinion they are made on the same line by the same people right here in Forest City, Iowa, and are identical all the way down to features, quality, content, price, and colors. Both are available here at Litson RV, America's closest dealer to Winnebago Industries. We're located only one mile north of the Winnebago factory, based right here in Forest City, Iowa, and recently named by the manufacturer of Winnebago Industries, as the North American top dealer for sales volume across all of the motorized coach divisions of Winnebago Industries, based right here in Forest City, Iowa, but reaching out across all of North America for that top sales volume award now for the past five consecutive years. However, most importantly, be the first to break in and protect your fuel efficient Mercedes Benz investment in accordance with the way Mercedes Benz outlines inside their owner's manuals in which there certainly is a definitive break-in procedure in which they recommend, if possible, no towing for the first thousand miles and varying your speeds to break in and seat those cylinders in that Mercedes-Benz three liter turbo diesel, as opposed to the way a delivery driver may and do tow their own personal vehicle behind your Winnebago View and Navion in route to your local dealership. Be the first to break in that new powertrain, sleep that first night in your Winnebago View or Navion, and eat that first meal in your factory fresh 24J, available here at Litson RV. The all new Winnebago View and Navion 24J has been restyled and includes the innovative fuel efficient Mercedes-Benz VS30 chassis with all new contemporary European styling. With new upscale details throughout, the View and Navion offer the freedom to live large in a compact coach. Combining freedom with comfort, this vehicle has been completely redesigned inside and out during the 2020 model year for an unparalleled Class C experience. As we work our way inside, you'll see the 24J features an even deeper large slide out from 20 inches increasing to 30 with a large U lounge that provides the perfect dining solution, workstation, game table, dual chase loungers with a flip up ottoman at each base. The 24J also includes a 10 cubic foot compressor driven double door 12 volt refrigerator and freezer, replenishing the dual group 31 RV batteries are dual 100 watt solar panels, 200 total, which are also expandable. Now also there is a 2000 watt inverter to power household appliances directly off of those dual group 31 RV batteries. This is the latest in safety enhancements in the VS30 chassis compared to other dealers that stock a limited edition chassis. This Winnebago View and Navion from Litson RV includes all of the safety enhancements from Mercedes-Benz. 
The first critical safety enhancement to the all-new third-generation VS30 Mercedes-Benz Sprinter chassis is Active Brake Assist. In the event that the system, which uses a combination of radar and camera technology, senses a visual obstruction ahead, the first the driver will be alerted to a visual and acoustic warning. Once the driver then applies the brakes, Active Brake Assist applies the most effective brake pressure and if too weak will engage autonomous braking capabilities. It also is the only system that can recognize and is designed to brake for pedestrians in the way. Active Lane Keeping Assist will sense if you seem to be unintentionally changing lanes in a range of situations, even in slight bends. Mercedes gives you a helpful audio and visual warning and then applies brake pressure to help you get back in the lane. Targeted intervention of the ESP systems and brake systems gently bring you back to your intended path. Adaptive or active cruise control, as we know here in North America, or as Mercedes terms, Active Distance Assist Distronic regulates the speed of your RV for you and automatically helps you maintain the distance to a vehicle detected in front of you. If you are approaching a vehicle in front of you, Distronic Cruise Control will slow your RV automatically and as that vehicle vacates or speeds up, will accelerate up to your desired cruise control level. You can increase or decrease the following distance in the vehicle setup settings or turn this feature off altogether. Traffic Sign Assist will help identify the right speed and alert you to let you know if traffic laws have changed. General GPS navigation and camera technology allow you to know when traffic laws change to alert you and keep you compliant. Traffic signs are also noted in the navigation screen in the MBUX setup. LED high performance headlamps provide improved illumination that maximizes the view of the road ahead while further enhancing the RV's overall aesthetic and sleek front end design. Adaptive High Beam Assist Enhanced Safety in the Dark The system makes driving in the dark safer and helps to reduce the strain on the driver. Adaptive High Beam Assist always makes the best possible headlamp range available while avoiding dazzling oncoming traffic. The driver barely needs to make use of the high beam switch and is able to concentrate better when driving in the dark. Adaptive high beam assist uses continuous input from a camera to automatically vary the range of the high beam headlamps based on the distance to oncoming vehicles and any vehicles traveling ahead of you. Mercedes-Benz's wet wiper system provides clean lines of sight if you have to wash your windshield as you drive. Traditional spray nozzles are replaced by tiny laser cut holes along the wiper arm that spray the fluid directly in front of the wipers as they sweep in either direction. Fluid consumption is reduced by over 50%, the system is heated in cold weather terrain, and the windshield is cleansed much more effectively by the wet wiper system. Attention Assist monitors your driving patterns for signs of fatigue and gives you an early warning to make sure you're not driving drowsy. If it detects fatigue or lapses in concentration on behalf of the driver, it suggests you take a break with an audible and visual warning. You simply confirm acknowledgement in the MBUX system and this feature can be turned on or off in vehicle settings. Not only as safety is the cornerstone of the all-new Sprinter, we've also now included interior aesthetic upgrades similar to that of the Mercedes S-Class Luxury Auto, including Artico leather cab seats that do feature all three sets of safety enhancements, tilt and telescoping steering with a complete array of steering wheel controls for the all-new infotainment center, making trips more enjoyable with the Sprinter's multitude of sophisticated MBUX infotainment features. Just above this location, you'll see we've also then included 
wireless charging for your smartphone or tablet. Inside this compartment, we also then have USB-C controls to be able to connect for Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, should you choose to use that. Although we do have here the 10.25 inch MBUX infotainment center that features hands-free calling, but also hands-free voice guidance, currently connected via Bluetooth. You'll see complete control of your smartphone or tablet, allowing us to make hands-free calls using voice guidance and Hey Mercedes artificial intelligence. We have complete navigation controls that is available through voice guidance. This will then also then tie into the traffic sign assist. Each of these apps are then also movable within the infotainment center. So if you'd like a certain array of apps, we can customize that by pressing and holding this. This is a capacitive touchscreen monitor that functions and swipes just like an iPad or Android tablet. And it's also controllable from the smart wheel controls. Sliding over then, of course, we have high definition FM radio, AM radio, and Sirius XM satellite radio that does include a free trial subscription. This can also function off of your smartphone or tablet. Controls for playing media that would reside on your smartphone or tablet, either via Bluetooth or from USB connectivity. A great feature here with info settings within the engine that provides consumption levels, DEF levels, torque curve measurements. Here's a great preview there of that rear view camera monitoring system. You can see the carbon fiber instrument panel applique setup that encases the dash and the side panels. Here as we start the engine, you can see RPM levels as well as torque curve levels. That second section then also provides consumption levels for fuel consumption and other fluids. But also on board is a complete digital operator's manual for the Mercedes-Benz VS30 chassis. Of course, not only do you have the capacitive touchscreen controls, but hard controls down below. Great way to search, find tips, bookmark certain areas if you'd like to go back to them. We do have Mercedes Pro technology in which we can enable this for 4G LTE, although for the RV lifestyle, Wi-Fi and cellular connectivity enhancements will be more cost effective. Here you'll find the vehicle settings screen with quick access for the ESP superior ride and technology handling. Also controls for lane keep assist, rear park assist, and then also assistance within different types of the safety enhancements that we just talked about to be able to display in certain locations, turn on or off. Here you'll see controls for the active brake assist. saw earlier the attention assist. You can see controls for the active lane keep assist. And as we move on to the vehicle settings, you'll see different programmable settings that are available for the cab chassis itself, lighting controls, and then overall system vehicle setting preferences. Again, all of this is controllable through the capacitive touchscreen monitor, but also on the smart wheel steering wheel controls. We also have hard buttons then down below. And then this is how you can actually configure and adjust which favorites you'd like to show up first 
on that 10.25 inch touchscreen monitor. Then down below we have true automatic climate control. You'll see controls for the powered sliding door located mid console with an array of cup holders and a great array of luxury aesthetic upgrades for the interior of the all new Mercedes-Benz Sprinter. Up top there you saw the Super Shell sleeper deck which is the first of three dedicated sleeping surfaces in the 24J at 49 by 75 inches. We'll cover that in more detail as we work inside the RV. Again, fog lamps up top there, indicating a fully loaded safety enhanced Mercedes-Benz VS30 chassis. When those are omitted, you can see at your local dealer, that chassis does have a decontented feature list with many of the safety enhancements being removed. All of our coaches here that are stocked by Litson RV include the fully loaded safety enhanced version. The latest in slide room technology off to the right there with a slide room awning, that is a power gear slim rack slide out with each of the mechanisms up top and down below. We include light duty automotive conveniences such as keyless entry for all three doors, including the entry door and powered mirrors with the frost that you see here, the top two thirds of which are powered and heated, the lower one third, including that parabolic wide angle convex technology. Down below standard in the view of Navion are stylized aluminum wheels with the four outer beam aluminum wheels. Just rearward of that, you'll see the integrated mudguard as well as the easy to access entry step that does include tie outs on each side, both the patio side and the driver side, which is great for tying out a pet or also for securing high end bicycles. You'll see the attention to detail here in the e-coating process. For over 30 years, Winnebago has led the industry in rust protection with our e-coating process. In fact, recently a $7 million infrastructure upgrade is the only e-coating process that includes electrically charging each piece of bare metal to attract a protective uniform coating. During this e-coating process, critical steel structural components are processed through a multi-stage immersion process. It's a 10 stage process during which they're submerged in each of the 10 different chemical tanks for four minutes in each tank. Here you'll see the 13 gallon LP capacity. Rearward of that, you'll see continuing basement storage with 43 cubic feet of basement and exterior storage. You can see the pass through compartment here and then also pay attention to detail with the actual metal in the subfloor of the slide rooms compared to other competing manufacturers that still use plywood or Luon in the subfloors of those slide outs. You can see the tighter bulb seal gaskets and then you can also see each of these has individual gas struts to keep propped up for storage. A great location for storage here and a nice sneak preview to the Colombian walnut interior with the high gloss white upper cabinets with the Technoform Italian cabinetry. The same rich full style cord wallboard and high endurance bow floor vinyl flooring are used throughout. Here you'll see an innovative black tank flush. So after draining your 41 gallon black tank, you can hook up a non potable water hose here to irrigate out that 41 gallon black tank and then continue with the drainage of the 41 gallon gray tank to cleanse out your drainage hose. Dual rear wheels are included to the rear with all of your utility and sewer hookups and one easy to access location here rearward on the driver's side. As we work our way inside this compartment, you'll see an exterior shower that does provide both hot and cold water. You'll also see many, many of the winterization components that are needed. Down below, the largest in three and a half inch PVC drainage for a quicker, more sanitary drainage of your 41 gallon black tank and your 41 gallon gray tank. Also within this compartment, off to the right, you'll see an innovative freshwater tank diverter valve. So when connected to the freshwater inlet down below, rather than having to unhook your potable water hose, you can very simply disconnect that and use the gravity, or you could actually just throw this freshwater diverter valve to tank fill and it will divert the water to fill the 40 gallons of total freshwater capacity in the 24J. Here you can see the winterization valves for siphoning RV antifreeze into the system if you choose to use the wet method of winterization. 
Again, down below is the outside shower with hot and cold water. You'll see inside this compartment also the stabilizer switches. So this coach does have stabilizer jacks to the rear. Keep in mind those are standard and they are only for stabilizing the coach. We are known here at Litson RV as an HWH factory installed installer of fully computerized automatic hydraulic leveling jacks in which about 55% of our owners take advantage of that. So we can customize a fully automatic hydraulic leveling system that will level the coach as well as providing stabilization. Here you can see a 12 volt on-demand water pump switch and then also the drainage pull valves for the gray tank and then also for the black in the upper left hand corner and then down below several low point drains. Of course all of our tanks here at Winnebago Industries are seamless one piece rotocast tanks with 70% of the components being made in house versus outsourcing in the build of a view and Navion. This allows us to not only ensure no seams or splits in tanks, but also to maximize those because they're computer aided designed around the floor plan rather than the floor plan being designed around the holding tanks that are purchased from a third party supplier down the road, like many competing manufacturers of Sprinter based RVs. Off to the right, you'll see an innovative butterfly clip in the quick port for the 30 amp shoreline cord so that you don't have to pull that through a marine RV port. Rearward inside this compartment, you'll see the automatic transfer switch. This allows you to not have to store that 30 amp cord in terms of plugging it into a generator box. You can very simply stow the cord and go. All the way in the back of this compartment, compartment is a quick port for expanding the 200 watts of rooftop solar through portable solar panels. We'll cover that more as we jump up atop the one piece fiberglass roof. Also coaxial inputs are included for portable satellite or resort cable. Again, you can see this luggage compartment is also in a seamless one-piece rotocast manufacturing build. And as we zoom back out, we'll showcase the Stellar Premium Deluxe Paint Package. Again, keep in mind, we also stock this in the Bay Mist, full body base coat, clear coat, automotive finish, and the mineral paint scheme. Of course, this coach is built with Winnebago's proprietary superstructure component in which all of our appliances and cabinets are mounted to steel within the sidewalls. Steel firewall interlocking joints then also provide protection from the engine through the Mercedes-Benz build process. Interlocking joints in the sidewalls evenly distribute the weight of the roof along the entire span of the wall so literally an empty shell could be built by Winnebago Industries. Whereas competing manufacturers have to rely on the infrastructure of walls providing the structure for their box. As we work our way to the rear here, a beautiful one piece fiberglass end cap and you can see the restyling that occurred within the rear taillight design for the 2021 model year, the mid part of the 2021 model year. A nice sneak preview to how expansive that 16 foot powered patio awning with dedicated LED lighting is covering a majority of your patio space. As we work our way up just below the clearance lamps, you'll see an integrated rear view camera monitoring system that ties in nicely to the MBUX 10 inch infotainment radio that we'll cover as we get inside the RV. Off to the right then, the exterior ladder brings you up to Winnebago's patented one piece fiberglass roof. Again, all of the sidewalls are built with Asdell composite fiberglass. As opposed to typical Luon plywood used by other competing manufacturers, it's half the weight, leading to improved cargo carrying capacity and fuel efficiency. Since it is composite, it will not mold or mildew. No delamination occurs when used to specs and it's not affected by freezing and warming cycles. It provides a green experience with no deforestation. It provides twice the insulation value and better sound barriers. This coach is on the upgraded 11,000 30 pound gross vehicle weight rating chassis from Mercedes Benz. And with Winnebago's proprietary build process, we include 1,334 pounds of occupant and cargo carrying capacity, 
1316 if you select bay mist or mineral full body base coat clear coat paint because of the weight of the paint down below a 5,000 pound factory installed tow package is included with a seven blade bargeman wiring harness just behind there is also where the spare tire is located and then again you can see the stabilizer only jacks again we can provide a complete hwh computerized automatic hydraulic leveling system with hwh being built here in moscow iowa we are a factory installed accredited hwh installer and now unlike any dealership here in north america we're going to elevate up to show you all of the quality components atop the one-piece fiberglass laminate block foam roof this provides a 10-year warranty and strength and longevity because it is a laminate block foam roof that you can literally walk across. It does not be built like other RV manufacturers using wooden trusses with bat foam stuffing for insulation. This is literally laid out within the metal of the superstructure with laminate block foam characteristics that provide a solid surface and then skinned with one piece fiberglass. This is a quality advantage we've been using here at Winnebago Industries for over 60 years. Working away from the rear to the front, you can see the skylight for the oversized 24 by 32 inch shower. Forward of that then is a 12 volt powered ventilator fan with a sealed marine RV hood so you don't have to worry about rainfall penetrating your view. Located mid coach is the omnidirectional local off-air high definition fixed mass local off-air antenna that allows you to bring in your entire free local off-air high definition programming from inside the RV to the right there you'll see 200 watts of standard solar which are expandable up to approximately 450 either rooftop or through the portable quick port that we showcased earlier mid coach also then is a 15,000 BTU high efficiency ducted air conditioning system with the integrated AC heat pump Forward of that then is the Max Air Premium Vent System dropped into the Super Shell Sleeper Deck. This is a thermostatically controlled whisper quiet 12 volt powered ventilator fan with a sealed marine RV hood. Again, so that you don't have to worry about rainfall penetrating the coach. You'll also see up top also the Sirius XM satellite radio antenna, which is included then for providing Sirius XM through the MBUX system. Also keep in mind we can expand any type of solar package and also provide any type of connectivity or satellite enhancement that you may want using our master RVDA RVIA certified technicians. Be sure to check out our connectivity 101 video in our video library on Litson.com as well as our satellite RV 101 video which showcases the three types of satellite technology. Also on our parts page, be sure to check out an interactive multimedia satellite antenna finder tool as well as several archived live video webcasts that we walk through the three types of satellite technology and any type of connectivity enhancement that you may want, whether it be a WeBoost for enhancing cellular or a WineGuard Connect 2.0, which can be used to provide dedicated Wi-Fi inside the RV. And now as we work our way back towards ground level, we'll wrap up with a balance of 43 cubic feet of basement and exterior storage. And as we do, we'll also cover some specifications to the coach as we are up top on the roof. The coach is 11 feet tall to the most standard feature atop that roof. The coach is 25 and a half feet in length, tip to tip. And the exterior width is seven feet, six and a quarter inches. Great storage here to the patio side down below here in this seamless one-piece rotocast compartment with the tighter bulb seal gaskets. Here you can see the exhaust for the Cummins owning clean burning 3600 watt LP generator that sips LP at only six tenths of a gallon per hour at half load off of the 12.2 to be exact gallon LP capacity. A convenient LPG gas grill connect then is also included down below for gas grill cooking. Note that a Cummins owning 3200 watt quiet diesel generator upgrade is available. Although based on our years of experience, unless you just do a tremendous amount of off the grid dry camping, 
the value play is more towards an LP generator. It's clean burning and doesn't necessarily provide that value for resale value. Most of our trades come in with 40 to 60 hours on their generator. Great pass-through storage is included here inside this compartment. This is underneath the 50 by 79 inch rear bed. Here you can see the Truma AquaGo on-demand water heater with a dedicated recirculation pump so that you don't burn your hot water if you're trying to conserve it by drawing hot water to a spigot. That recirculation pump constantly loops that hot water when there is a demand and a faucet is opened. Here you'll see the exhausting for the 20,000 BTU low profile ducted furnace. Continuing on with 43 cubic feet of basement and exterior storage. And then down below a nice detailed shot there of that LPG gas grill connect, the dual rear wheels, stylized aluminum wheels on the four outer. Inside this compartment, you'll also see another quick port, which then allows you to bring in household appliance and extension cords into this compartment in which there is a 110 volt outlet, but also where the 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter is located. Again, this allows you to power household appliances directly off of those dual deep cycle group 31 RV batteries, which are replenished with dual 100 watt or 200 watts total and expandable up to 450 of ZAMP solar. They're also recharged when the coach is in transit or when being plugged in or when running your generator. You'll also see coaxial inputs off to the left for connecting an exterior TV. There you can see the Xantrex pure sine wave inverter control panel. You can see the nice detailed shot there of those tighter bulb seal gaskets that provide a tighter fit to keep those compartments nice and dry. Standard is the electrical entry step. There inside the step well is where you'll see the natural light that can be provided for servicing those dual deep cycle group 31 rv batteries a screen door here provides great fresh air ventilation in conjunction with that max air premium vent system located right there in the ceiling of that super shell sleeper deck standard down below is the electrical entry step and an all-new european inspired entry door that does tie into the keyless entry with Winnebago Industries being one of the few accredited manufacturers with Mercedes-Benz, we're allowed to tap into that PCM or basically the computer of the coach to allow for articulating that keyless entry. Great storage is included inside this door as well as the privacy screens for blacking out at night. One of the great things about this European inspired door is that each of the door latches are at hip height because it is a dual latch door. So you can see as you're standing inside the coach, that door latch is at hip height and then also the exterior is as well. Down below then we also include the easy to access assist step that includes the tie outs for a pet or securing high end bicycles. Here you can also see the nice expansive nature of that 16 foot powered patio awning that does include dedicated LED lighting. You can see the entry assist light, which is also LED. And throughout the RV, we use LED lighting, which is 70% more energy efficient compared to normal incandescent or halogen lighting. It's also cool to the touch. Great shot there of all of that window space that then provides beautiful views out towards your patio area. And now as we work our way inside the 24J, we'll cover one sweeping shot of this floor plan and then we'll cover things in more detail. This coach is ordered in the only interior choice, which is the Harmony Beige Fabrics Collection, which is paired up with walnut high gloss Technoform Italian cabinetry with white uppers. And the reason why we make this investment with high-end Italian Technoform cabinetry is twofold. First of all, the cabinetry is extremely lightweight, so it frees up that 
over 1,300 pounds of occupants and cargo carrying capacity, but it's also moisture resistant with Technoform primarily making this cabinetry for high-end yachts and the RV industry. We can fight humidity out on the open ocean just like we do in RV and climate, so it's very moisture resistant. A great new option there with the home entertainment option with the JBL wireless soundbar and smart DVD streaming player that we'll cover in detail. A permanent on the ground bed at 50 by 79 inches, a large expansive galley with a microwave and convection oven and large wardrobe and pantry area. An oversized U lounge provides three dedicated safety belts. It converts into a 42 by 79 inch sleeping surface and provides for dual chase loungers to relax and watch your television right at eye level across the way. Up front, we have included the factory installed upgrade of the Ultra Fabrics Primera Leather front seats to match the Coach Lounge Fabrics collection, but then also providing those residential cushions to provide a taller, more residential feel. Of course, throughout the RV, we use this upgraded bow floor vinyl flooring front to rear, which is one continuous sheet. We don't seam this in like other RV manufacturers to save nickels and dimes and eliminate any risk of splits. You can literally Swiffer this coach out in a matter of seconds. And now let's cover things in more detail. Inside this deeper slide out, which has increased from 20 to 30 inches, it includes this large U-shaped dinette, which provides the walnut table that rotates 360 degrees, providing a great end table when you use each of the chase loungers with the flip up ottomans but also drops into slats to provide for the sleeping surface. A full bank of overhead high-end Italian Technoform cabinetry is included overhead with the positive stronger made in 2020 model year, stronger positive lock latching system, so things aren't gonna slide out in transit. Each of these areas are partitioned as well. Here you'll see the true MCD proprietary American roller shade system. This provides solar and blackout roller shades in the main living area. These are true MCD proprietary shades. These are not knockoff slow rise blinds like other competing RV manufacturers. You can see the multiple USB and 12 volt power points throughout the RV. Decorative window valances are included and then you'll see the heating ventilation and air conditioning control thermostat for the 15 1000 BTU high efficiency ducted air conditioning system with the integrated AC heat pump and the 20,000 BTU low profile ducted furnace. You can see the attention to detail there with the higher sheen level to that Colombian walnut which is paired with the white uppers. Beautiful LED lighting is included overhead and then also down below in the toe kicks. Inside this large slide out with this U lounge, there is a 110 volt outlet as well as 12 volt and USB power points. This provides for a great dining solution, workstation, game table, and then can also convert to dual chase loungers with flip up ottomans that then literally are at eye level across from the television and Blu ray streaming smart Blu ray player and the JBL wireless soundbar. Inside this U-shaped dinette, there is storage underneath each of these cushions. It includes three safety belts and conveniently converts to a 42 by 79 inch sleeping surface. Again, this is all Ultra Fabrics Primera leather, which is very weather temperative, meaning not so hot during the summer and not so cold during the winter. It's also synthetic, so you can be fairly aggressive in cleaning the leather. Again, each of these ottomans then flip up to provide a footrest when used for dual chase loungers. A great shot there of the attention to detail in that synthetic leather that actually provides a linen fabric appearance with the attention to detail in it. There you can see the 110 volt outlet and you saw the USB and 12 volt power points overhead. Again, also inside that U lounge then is also the wardrobe closet, pantry area, and then also that exterior storage that you saw as we were on the driver's side of the 24J. Working our way across from the large deep slide out is also a full expansive inline kitchen or galley area. 
with under toe kick lighting, indirect lighting overhead, soft close drawer glides that illuminate as the drawer is opened. We'll showcase that here in a moment. But great storage is included overhead along with inside this upgraded vinyl padded ceiling this the coleman mach 15,000 btu air conditioning system this is a high efficiency ducted air conditioning system with chill grill technology for quickly cooling the coach if you were away it also includes an integrated ac heat pump washable filters very simply drop down again that is an upgraded vinyl padded ceiling so very easy to clean with LED recessed lighting. This 32 inch high definition television ties into the omnidirectional local off air high definition antenna and swivels out to articulate for viewing angles from the super shell sleeper deck or from the ultra fabrics front seats that rotate to become integral lounge chairs. This is the home theater entertainment option recently made available with the JBL wireless soundbar that also includes a fiber optic cable into this the sony blu-ray player that also includes a wi-fi controller for streaming all of your smart apps directly through that it then ties into the hdmi cabling for the television for a high definition experience but also that fiber optic cable preserves the digital dolby quality of the audio inside that jbl wireless soundbar up top is the connectivity point to access connectivity enhancements if we are to add any type of Wi-Fi or cellular boosting for you. Inside this compartment you'll also see 12 volt and USB power points. So if you do choose to use things like a Fire Stick or a Roku Stick, we have the 12 volt and 12 volt USB included right near that HDMI cabling that runs directly into the 32 inch high definition television. Also inside this compartment is the local off-air booster switch, an innovative smart space design with the paper towel holder down below. So it hides that, but then also is readily available right above your sink area. Again, using computer-aided design, not only can we control tolerances and fit and finish, which long-term will minimize squeaks and rattles compared to competing RV manufacturers, but we can also maximize storage Again, the high-end Italian Techniform cabinetry here with the positive lock latching system. Off to the right, you'll see the holding tank heating switch. So these are 12 volt warming pads underneath each the 41 gallon black tank and the 41 gallon gray tank to allow you to drain those in sub-freezing temperatures. Storage is included off to the left with additional lighting. And then also down below, Underneath the holding tank heater switch is where you'll see controls for the 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter. Again, that allows you to power household appliances directly off of the dual group 31 RV batteries. With Winnebago's compliance to RVIA standards, you can see the glass heat shield right above the hybrid cooktop. A large picture window is included right out towards your patio area. This hybrid cooktop includes a combination LP cooktop if you prefer LP range top cooking, but also a true induction cooktop. The great thing about induction cooking is you can use that off of your inverter, but also conserve LP. And it is safe in the event that you have children or pets traveling with you because it will not heat up until it sends the magnetics in the true induction cooktop. Off to the right then is a stainless steel backsplash. You can see the wall switches off to the right then for each of the LED lighting. Certain of those switches are also dimmable. A large inline kitchen galley countertop is included inside the kitchen galley area that are high endurance, easy to clean laminate countertops with a drop in oversized dual basin stainless steel sink off to the left. Overhead is a high-rise satin nickel gooseneck single control kitchen faucet with a pull-out sink sprayer for easy maintenance and easy cleaning of your dishes. Innovative sink top covers also then feature a cutting board on the bottom side of each of these sink countertops. You can very simply cleanse those then and now you've got a dual feature of a sink top cover and a cutting board. This is also the sink then that ties in the water purification system with easy to find replaceable cartridges right up underneath the sink for water purification. 
A large oversized dual basin stainless steel sink provides easy maintenance and easy cleaning of your dishes. Again, that high-rise satin nickel gooseneck style faucet is out of the way when you don't need it, but then also includes that pull-out sink sprayer. Also notice within this entire kitchen or galley area, the illuminated toe kick lighting provides a wonderful night light also when maneuvering throughout the night. A large side hung picture window then also provides for fresh air ventilation when slid open in conjunction with that Max Air Premium vent system. An easy to access entry handle is included and then down below you'll see disconnect switches for the 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter and the 12 volt auxiliary battery disconnect switch to place those dual Group Cycle 31 RV batteries in storage. You'll also see controls for the 16 foot powered patio awning with integrated LED lighting. The ZAMP solar system then is also tied directly into those batteries and bypasses the auxiliary battery disconnect switch to provide a great storage trickle charger for the dual Group 31 RV batteries. A night light is included with the aisle lightings just off to the right. There is also an electrical entry step, although we generally advise to just leave that in the out position because as soon as you place the vehicle in gear, it will automatically retract that entry step. We'll now showcase all of the storage here underneath inside this inline kitchen or galley area. Underneath the sink is where, of course, we haven't forgotten the location for the waste paper basket, but also includes a large storage area along with the water purification system. You can see the toe kick lighting and auxiliary heat coming out from that 20,000 BTU low profile ducted furnace. Full drawer stacks are included underneath and all of our drawer stacks are illuminated. They're also full length extension with metal drawer glides as opposed to competing manufacturers that still are saving nickels and dimes by providing shallower drawers with plastic drawer glides. Soft closed drawer glides are also included along with satin nickel contemporary hardware. Sliding over off to the right is a large double door stainless steel style 10 cubic foot compressor driven double door refrigerator and then overhead is this a residential whisper quiet 12 volt sealed exhaust fan for the kitchen and galley area that is sealed up top so again it doesn't require a max air powered ventilator fan cover. Off to the left then above this 10 cubic foot refrigerator and freezer are all of your gauges in one easy to access location, including slide out controls and then within the one place panel, a 12 volt on demand water pump switch. We also include tank level readouts for, for the true level holding tank monitoring system in which we invest in sonar sensors on the outsides of those one piece rotocast tanks as opposed to drilling through like other RV manufacturers continue to do using probes which can potentially leak, corrode or provide false readings over time. You'll also see battery readouts for the house and chassis batteries and then controls to start and stop your Cummins Onan generator. Off to the right is the ZAMP solar charge controller. Again, 200 watts are standard rooftop with the flexi mat panels. They can be expanded up to 450 watts quite easily because there's quite a bit of real estate atop on that roof. If you do a lot of off the grid RVing, This Norcold 10 cubic foot compressor driven double door 12 volt refrigerator and freezer is a compressor driven refrigerator. So you don't have to be perfectly level to use this compared to an absorption or LP style refrigerator. They also work great at higher altitudes. They include an adjustable thermostat and power directly off of those dual deep cycle group 31 RV batteries which are replenished by the 200 watts of solar. Be sure to check out our solar experiment videos in our video library on Litson.com in which we put this refrigerator to the test. Inside this double door refrigerator are adjustable bins and shelves along with the capability for a full gallon of milk or full gallon of orange juice. As we wrap up in this 10 cubic foot compressor driven double door refrigerator and freezer, we'll also cover the balance of specifications. Inside we have a 6 foot 8 inch ceiling height, 
Again, we covered outside the exterior height to the coach is 11 feet to the most standard feature atop the roof. It's 25 feet, six inches tip to tip in length, and it is seven feet, six and a quarter inches wide. Right across from the kitchen and galley area, conveniently located right near the U lounge, is this, a stainless steel microwave and convection oven. Not only does this allow you to bake brown and roast just like a traditional oven, it frees up that full drawer stack space that you saw inside the kitchen, which normally would be consumed by a traditional LP oven. Be sure to check out our microwave convection cooking classes in our video library on Litson.com, as well as an archived Litson RV Live experience with a pair of chefs that were taking delivery of both of their factory fresh RVs here at Litson RV in Four City and opted to do a microwave convection cooking class for us. Underneath this microwave and convection oven is a large wardrobe closet and then also a large pantry area conveniently located near the kitchen and near the U lounge, all trimmed out in the same contemporary walnut cabinetry with the positive lock latching mechanisms. You'll see some of the accessories that ship with the RV in each of these storage areas. So a great shirt hanging closet area and then also taking advantage of computer data design, another drawer down below and then a large expansive pantry here in this location with those full length extension drawer glides and metal drawer glides because in the pantry you typically would have heavier items. So a real relevant point here compared to other RV manufacturers that will not invest in placing these easy to access drawers in that location, either shoring them up or using plastic drawer glides or not even including them at all and just including shelf space. But just a tremendous amount of storage here inside the view and Navion 24J. Now as we wrap up in the pantry area in that wardrobe closet, we'll slide over to the master bedroom and modified split bath. Here you can see that additional drawer that's included down below. Again, any place that we can place storage for you, the engineers at Winnebago Industries are gonna provide that for you. You can see the toe kick lighting for the hybrid split bath. Now sliding over to the rear, a beautiful curved contemporary door for the master bath. You can see down below the 12 volt breaker panel as well as 110 volt breaker panel and a GFI protected outlet. To the rear here inside the bedroom, this is a 50 by 79 inch bed. So just 10 inches shy of a full queen bed. This bed also includes the Froley Deluxe Sleep System with independently adjustable firmness springs underneath. Full bank of overhead contemporary curved high-end Technoform cabinetry with positive lock latching, illumination, and then also split dividers. Also inside the rear master bedroom just above you'll see directional LED reading lamps that convert to soft blue night lights. Also we have anything keeper drop down storage areas above the bed which have grooved locations out for recharging your smartphones or tablets because near this area is also where you'll see the 12 volt and USB power points. This is also a great location to include a CPAP or BPAP machine because we do have a 110 volt outlet right near that anything keeper. Again, each of these individual reading lamps are bright white, but also convert over then to the soft blue glow. Great shot there of the anything keeper that stores flush up against the ceiling of that cabinet with multiple 12 volt and USB charge points as well as 110 volt outlets. Nice attention to detail with that rich faux style colored wallboard, which is used throughout the coach, even in the closets and exterior storage that you saw as we were exterior of the coach. Not saving nickels and dimes by seaming in less quality wallboard like other RV manufacturers. This 50 by 79 inch sleeping surface also provides access down below, but also access to the exterior storage if you need it. This is also the Froley Deluxe Sleep System with independently adjustable firmness springs that conform to your body. But not only do they provide that firmness, but they also provide great fresh air ventilation, which keeps that mattress nice and cool. 
compared to other RV manufacturers that are still placing vinyl layment over plywood, which is a great opportunity for mold and mildew. This will keep great fresh air ventilation. Again, you can see all of that access to storage, including the exterior compartment. Also inside this location are the balance of your winterization valves. Also keep in mind, you saw where the Truma AquaGo on-demand, energy-efficient water heater was located. That includes that recirculation pump to constantly loop your hot water to ensure that you're not wasting water when RVing off the grid, trying to drive hot water to an open faucet. And then again, down below is your 12 volt and 110 volt breaker panel and a GFI protected outlet for the kitchen and galley area. There are multiple 110 volt outlets throughout this main area, but also one just above the kitchen or galley area. There is a privacy curtain for privacy to this area. And then you can also see the diffused ducts for the 20,000 BTU low profile ducted furnace. Inside the master bedroom then also is a 24 inch LED high definition television at the foot of the bed. Again, you can tie in any type of a Fire Stick or Roku Stick for streaming all of your favorite apps through this, as well as listening to Sirius XM Satellite Radio, which is now free for the online and app player. Here you can see the privacy curtain for the master bedroom area. And now we'll work our way into the split bath. Inside the split bath, you're going to notice all of the accessories that are provided. We don't force you to go out and purchase those. So it includes the towel bars, an innovative drop-down tissue holder, a tissue holder inside near the toilet area, as well as robe hooks. We continue with the toe kick lighting. This is the bound by the W towel hook. A mirrored medicine cabinet is included with an innovative drop-down tissue dispenser. So you can very simply place a box of tissues upside down in this location and then pull them down similar to the way the paper towel holder was designed with computer-aided design just above the kitchen sink. Down below, a stainless steel rectangular sink provides for easy maintenance and easy cleaning in a beautiful curved single control satin nickel faucet. Of course, we haven't forgotten the location for the waste paper basket under the sink and then also include that GFI protected outlet for lavatory appliances. And then down below is the hardwired LP detector that's hardwired directly into the RV batteries. A beautiful curved entry door for the split bath. Inside the split bath, then you'll see a residential height style toilet and then a large oversized 24 by 32 inch shower with an overhead skylight that provides beautiful indirect lighting as well as additional height clearance for our taller guests. This is the underlayment side of that 12 volt powered ventilator fan that had that white sealed marine RV hood up top in the roof. Inside this 24 by 32 inch rectangular style shower, this is a one piece pan and a one piece surround for easy maintenance and easy cleaning. It also includes the Oxygenics flexible handheld shower head that allows you to start and stop the water both on the head as well as on the faucet to conserve water when RVing off the grid. You can see molded areas for soap, conditioner, and shampoo. But what everybody raves about this coach has is the disappearing anti-mold, anti-fungal, disappearing shower door that literally squeegees the water off as you bring that door in providing for easy maintenance and easy cleaning. Then right above this area, you'll see the towel bar. Again, beautiful contemporary satin nickel hardware. You'll also see the thermostat for the Truma AquaGo on-demand instant hot water heater that includes the eco mode, a boost mode, but also a clean decalcification mode for easy cleaning. It includes that recirculation pump that we've talked about that loops the hot water so that anytime you open a faucet, you're not gonna waste hot water or fresh water while you're RVing off the grid. A 12 volt on-demand water pump switch is included so that you can use the residential height style porcelain toilet down below that does include the foot pedal flush and sprayer. And with that 12 volt on-demand water pump switch, then you can still wash your hands as you exit the washroom.
a beautiful contemporary interior with those same attention to detail with that rich faux style colored wallboard and the easy to clean upgraded bow floor vinyl flooring. And now as we work our way up front, pay attention to the rich contemporary styling, but also the convicts pitched nature to the roof that allows all of that water to run off over that one piece laminate block foam roof into the awning gutters. Overhead then is the super shell sleeper deck which is a molded composite one piece cap and then dropped into it is this Max Air premium vent system. This includes a thermostatically adjustable high speed 12 volt on demand powered ventilator fan that does include a handheld remote for a thermostat and a wall bracket that can be mounted anywhere inside the coach. The great thing about this super shell sleeper deck is since it is one piece and composite based it's whisper quiet and provides great insulation both in terms of acoustics and for heating ventilation and air conditioning. It provides great stability but also a 49 by 75 inch sleeping surface. It includes the ladder if you need it to gain access to it. It also includes opening windows on each side with blackout window coverings. So some great fresh air ventilation, especially in conjunction with that Max Air Premium vent system. Off to the left then you'll also see again another directional reading lamp with the soft blue nightlight mode. Those bags off to the left are the privacy panels for the front cab area. Again, because of the three sets of safety airbags, we can't use the Remus cab window blinds any longer. But we do include those privacy panels, which are very simple to set up and provide great UV and solar from that automotive safety glass. Here inside the Super Shell sleeper deck, then you'll also see 12 volt and USB power points, as well as a 110 volt outlet. And then again, each of these windows open up as a canopy or awning style window to provide great fresh air ventilation. And then each of those has privacy window coverings for privacy at night. And there also is curtained privacy access from the balance of the living area to the coach. A very comfortable firm mattress overhead and again if you need the ladder it provides ease of access. Even if you choose not to use this as a sleeping surface just some great storage capabilities. A nice soft transition with those automotive, automotive valances into the front cockpit area. Within the front cab area then each of these seats rotate to become integral lounge chairs. The great thing about this is with the three different positions of the memory seating, again a feature of the fully loaded VS30 chassis compared to competing dealers that may provide a decontented limited edition chassis without all of the safety enhancements. That third memory seating position can be used for seat swivel mode so that you don't have to jack with the steering wheel. Also within this area you'll see heated power control cab seats with adjustable armrests, adjustable lumbar support, adjustable headrests, they recline, slide, and swivel. An adjustable thigh position is also included and then also we include those residential height style cab seat cushions that provide a taller more residential feel when each of these are used as integrated lounge chairs. The emergency brake folds flush then down to the ground so that you can swivel that mode. We include light duty automotive conveniences such as tilt and telescoping steering for a fatigueless fit. We'll turn this on to accessory mode to showcase the Mercedes-Benz instrumentation cluster and the MBUX system. Inside this leather wrapped steering wheel, you'll see controls off to the left with a capacitive flywheel for the Mercedes-Benz instrumentation cluster and then off to the right, a thumb control for the MBUX system which is your intelligent navigation as well as all of your media. Off to the left you'll see light duty automotive conveniences such as powered mirrors with defrost, powered door locks, powered windows and all of which are trimmed out with a beautiful carbon fiber instrument panel applique. Here inside this steering wheel then you'll also see controls for the adaptive cruise control again a safety enhancement on the fully loaded VS30 chassis as well as off to the right then controls for your favorites and voice activated calling with the MBUX system with the hands-free Bluetooth capability. 
as well as controls for the home and also all of the features with that little square button that actually moves with your thumb to actually swipe just like a capacitive touchscreen monitor on a smartphone or a tablet, which is then controlling the MBUX off to the right. You can see the paddle switches if you'd like to run the 7G Tronic transmission as a manual clutchless transmission. Here you can see controls for the three different memory seating positions as well as the powered heat inside each of the cab seats, which does have a seat and lower back component. Satin nickel hardware then is also included by Mercedes-Benz. Great storage inside the door with a dedicated cup holder, but there are also two above the steering wheel and multiple just below the MBUX that we'll showcase here in a moment. Inside this MBUX, it's wrapped with a carbon fiber instrument panel applique package. Complete automatic climate control then is included down below. Inside this MBUX, you'll see controls for hands-free calling, intelligent navigation, high definition radio, as well as Sirius XM satellite radio. You can actually pair this up via Bluetooth or actually include to use Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. Multiple USB, USB-A, USB-C switches are included, as well as wireless charging just above that we'll showcase here in a moment. Here you'll see the intelligent navigation system. This intelligent navigation system actually gets its map updates as well as live traffic through the Mercedes Pro Connect feature which is something that we activate for you here at Litson RV, but it does require an AT&T separate subscription. It also then requires the vehicle to be running. Again, keeping in mind that the Sprinter chassis is mainly built for transportation companies such as FedEx, UPS, and Amazon. Those vehicles are constantly running, which is why most RVers will opt for a WeBoost or a WineGuard Connect 2.0. That will provide cellular enhancements and in-coach internet even when the vehicle's not running. Here you can see media connections for Bluetooth or USB. You saw the Sirius XM and high definition FM. Also within the MBUX then, you'll see this, the information, information for fuel consumption, engine diagnostics, but also an onboard operator's manual which provides smart search capability. We all get tired of going through hundreds of pages of an owner's manual. Here you can enter just a few key words and it will search that owner's manual and you can actually then find what you're looking for much more efficiently. Now as we back up to the home screen, We'll slide over and also cover the Mercedes Pro and the apps associated with that. Again, if you do actually connect that AT&T hotspot and use it through the Mercedes Pro then, you'll get live traffic with intelligent navigation along with map updates. You'll still have the navigation working, but the map updates come through the Wi-Fi connection. But you'll also have an internet browser right here built into the MBUX. Not thought to be used very often by RVers because you'll use your smartphone or tablet. Sliding over to the settings screen, this is where you can adjust many of the safety enhancements to turn these on or off, along with the ESP mode for superior ride and handling, assistance features such as traffic sign assist, active lane keep assist, active brake assist, or attention assist. Within traffic sign assist, then you can turn that on or off if you prefer not to use it. Same thing with active lane keep assist. Active brake assist, then you can also adjust. And attention assist, which is going to sense your driving habits and if it does interpret too many lane departures, will provide a warning for you to step over and take a break. Here within the vehicle settings are feedback settings for what happens when you lock and unlock the vehicle. It also allows you to program certain of your preferences for gas station searches. And then lighting controls in the next feature of that row up top 
provide exterior lighting delays, interior lighting delays, and locator lighting. Again, all providing feedback for when you lock and unlock the vehicle. And the final setting within the home page is the system setting. You can see that red light just above there is for the SOS Ready. That is going to provide an emergency call to local 911 authorities if you have an emergency. But within this system setting screen, you can adjust display features, controls, and also language. Also connect for Bluetooth and white, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi settings, and adjust the time and the date. Now as we work our way back out again, not only is this a capacitive touchscreen monitor, but you can also control this with the hard buttons down below or from the steering wheel. You can also adjust the layout of each of these app or feature settings. You can see the larger barrel ducts on each side providing for quick heating, ventilation, and air conditioning controls, all of which are automatic by setting the thermostat. Off to the left, you saw the push button access. So this does have a keyless fob that senses when it's in the cockpit to allow you to start the vehicle. It also provides for keyless entry to even include the entry door, which is unique to Winnebago being an accredited upfitter for Mercedes-Benz. Inside here, you'll see the automatic climate control, the hazard switch, and then also an automatic door switch. Down below here, you'll see cup holders, USB, and 12 volt power points, along with USB-A and USB-C inside the coach. And then down below, another 12 volt power point underneath. Now just above the MBUX is another compartment that actually opens that includes wireless charging and USB power points, but then also screen mirroring mode. Again, the latest in safety enhancements, including three different sets of safety airbags. Cup holders are included on each side, and then opening this area is where you'll see the screen mirroring mode and then USB inputs. A great location here to use wireless charging if your phone's capable of it, or if you have a smartphone or tablet using the USB inputs. For use of Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, both apps of which are available in that MBUX, Again, three different sets of safety airbags, including dual front, window, and thoracic pelvis airbags. Again, cab seat cushions provide a taller, more residential feel. Again, these exist on each side. The thigh adjuster continues as well. Again, each of these seats include the factory installed upgrade of the cat skin synthetic leather that does allow the airbags to penetrate, but it provides the same linen synthetic leather appearance to the rest of the coach. So as we swivel around, we'll cover one last sweeping shot as I want to take this opportunity to thank you for visiting Litzen RV and for the opportunity to showcase for you the latest in mid-year running line change improvements made during the middle part of the 2021 model year for the Winnebago View and Navion 24J, again, both of which are identical all the way down to features, quality, content, price, and colors. We being one of the few full-line dealerships here in North America, we can provide you that unbiased opinion. They're made on the same assembly line here in Forest City by the same people using the same quality inputs. They are identical all the way down to features, quality, content, price, and colors. And both are available here at Litson RV, America's closest dealer to Winnebago Industries. We're located only one mile north of the Winnebago factory based right here in Forest City, Iowa, and recently named by the manufacturer, Winnebago Industries, as the North American top dealer for sales volume across all of the motorized coach divisions of Winnebago Industries, based right here in Forest City, Iowa, but reaching out across all of North America for that top sales volume award now for the past five consecutive years. However, most importantly, be the first to break in and protect your new Mercedes-Benz powertrain investment in accordance with the way Mercedes-Benz outlines inside their owner's manuals, in which there certainly is a definitive break-in procedure, in which they recommend, if possible, no towing for the first thousand miles and varying your speeds to break in and seat those cylinders in that Mercedes-Benz three-liter six-cylinder turbo diesel platform. 
as opposed to the way a delivery driver may and do tow their own personal vehicle out to your local dealership, be the first to break in and protect that new powertrain, sleep that first night in your 24J and eat that first meal in your factory fresh U lounge available here at Litson RV. Thank you for visiting Litson RV here in Forest City, Iowa, the home of Winnebago Industries. I'm Ron Litson and I want to thank you for visiting our dealership here in Forest City, Iowa. Here are some great points from the Litson RV team as to points unrelated to price why you should experience the best here at Litson RV. New motorhomes from Litson RV have no delivery miles on them. We do not use delivery services like other dealers in which drivers live in the RV during transportation or tow their own personal vehicle during the crucial engine break-in period. There are no additional fees with purchasing in the state of Iowa, as a customer will pay their tax, title, and license in which the state that they register their RV. However, we do help in assisting titling your RV in your home state. As you can see, we help people day in and day out all over the United States and Canada with titling their motorhome. Due to our close proximity to Winnebago factory, we're able to take advantage of cost savings over other RV dealerships. This allows us to provide you with low, no hassle pricing. We offer free, thorough walk-arounds with our guests at the time of delivery, where we take as much time as needed for our guests to understand every function, maintenance, and warranty item of their RV. Many dealers charge a significant sum to provide this service. Here at Litson RV, we provide our guests the opportunity to stay on our lot while enjoying free access to Wi-Fi, filter fresh water, and electrical hookups, whether they're here to take delivery of their new RV or just passing through for service. We work with several different lenders in order to secure you the most competitive rates and terms. We also offer insurance from several different insurance carriers such as Progressive and Nationwide. Purchase and service your RV and experience the best at Litson RV, the nation's closest dealer to Winnebago Industries based right here in Forest City, Iowa.